We love driving up and down Route 100 because you pass through little villages, little country stores, you find treasures everywhere. In fact, those little country stores, which I'm more than a bit partial to, seem to literally dot Vermont's Route 100, Pittsfield, Warren, and further north and a bit off 100. Beautiful drive and there's a lot of stuff like this. It's like a hidden gem. A lot of people don't really know Jericho Center all that well. Pity, though they may not mind that here. The Jericho Country Store sits on one side of the pretty town green as it has since 1807, making it one of the oldest oldest general stores in Vermont. It's just a treasure of the community. It's not even really a building, it's kind of a character, a really important character of the town, and people just love coming here. John St. Amour and his family bought this long-running character of a country store more than 16 years ago. He and his mom, Linda, mostly run things here today. It's a relic, you know, but it's a working relic of the past, and it, it's still working. That it is. Locals still get their mail here, not to mention lunch and groceries and gas and, at no extra charge, camaraderie. To be able to go in and see friendly faces and folks you recognize and also to pick up your mail and have that actual interaction instead of just a, here's my beer, here's your money, bye-bye. It's more a matter of you're actually having conversations with people that you've known for, for a long time. What's the challenge to keeping a general store going today? You know, it's hard to compete with you know, chains, and there are more and more popping up. The town is growing. We've really had to kind of think outside the box and do different things just to, to keep people coming here. We had a large hardware department when we first bought it and didn't sell any hardware, so we had to take that away. The groceries have dwindled down, so now we've become more of a deli, a deli and store. But a busy one. Yes, and we do a little bit of everything. <laughs> Guess that's why they call these kinds of stores general and beloved, a feeling that works both ways across the counter. I love the customers, and I really look at them as friends first. I don't see them as a customer. Sometimes that's hard for me because I get to joking around with someone and you know, just talking about the day, and then I'm like, oh yeah, I gotta take your money, sorry about that. Not something you'll find at the chains, and to think we found it all, just driving up Route 100. Inquiring minds wanna know, mm -hmm. the difference between a country store versus a general store. I'm really glad you asked. Thank Ted you. explained it to us, there was absolutely no difference <laughs> between a country store and a general store. That change, that uh, name has been used interchangeably for well over 100 years, so no difference. That's Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Anthony Everett. And I'm Shana Seymour. Have a good one, everyone. <laughs>